work with China to make sure that everybody is working by the same uh, rules of the road when it comes to uh, the world economic system on uh, critical issues like human rights. Uh, we will continue to emphasize uh, what we believe is the importance of, of recognizing uh, the aspirations and rights of all people. It is critically important uh, that the United States and China uh, develop a strong working relationship to help uh, to bring stability, uh, order, and security. All right, human rights in China, those two you know, don't really go together. Joining us now is Pamela Tsai, Marketing Director at Epic Media Group, epicmediagroup.com. Good to see you. Nice to see welcome, you, Steve. Welcome here. All right, uh, you, you know, it, it's very important that people are become aware of what you're going to tell us about, and that is China's information, and uh, uh, their information war, I guess it is, to kind of uh, change the American perception about the Chinese government. And uh, unfortunately, to a great extent, they, they succeed in doing that, don't they? Yes, absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, most of the Chinese uh, newspaper and television in America is actually either directly controlled or heavily influenced by Beijing. And that's a fact that most American people are not aware of because uh, a lot of us, we don't speak Chinese and we couldn't tell the difference. But as a Chinese American, we see that every day. And so I think it's important to bring to the attention of the public. How, how do the uh, Chinese, how, how does the Chinese government control? I would think Chinese newspapers and media in America would be, you know, for the most part outspoken against the uh, repressive uh, human rights regime in China, but that's not the case. You're absolutely correct. Um, all the topics that are strictly censored in Beijing are also censored here in America um, by the uh, Beijing controlled newspaper. For example, the persecution of Falun Gong, the pro-democracy movement, Tibetan human rights, you know, uh, Taiwan, all of these topics are strictly censored. And uh, so Epic Media Group is the only Chinese newspaper and the largest who is reporting the truth to inform the Chinese Americans here in America. And also we publish it in, in English and to inform the Western society. That, that helps a lot. Now you have a newspaper there as an example. Uh, tell us what you're going to show us there. What does this show? Yes, absolutely. Uh, this is the World Journal, uh, which is one of the largest Chinese newspaper in America and it's influenced by Beijing and so um, and here you'll see some American advertisements. Yeah, that one happens to be State Farm. State Farm. Now we're not, we're not going after companies no. specifically but we're just put making a point here mm -hmm. that American companies yeah, they're support, not aware. They, they support these publications and they don't know what they're supporting. Absolutely. So how do you, how do you educate them? Well, we really uh, hope to inform the um, uh, American companies about what's going on because a lot of them are relying on the Asian advertising agencies who are either run by the Chinese people or have Chinese partners who are very heavily influenced by Beijing. Right. And so they're telling their clients not to, to uh, support or putting in the advertisement in a free and independent Chinese newspaper because they don't want to upset Beijing. Why? Why does the Chinese government, or how does the Chinese government, have such long tentacles to reach into the the, the independent, what you would think would be an independent media, a media that would want to make the Chinese community aware of what's going on? How do how do they do that? Well, there are four ways. Uh, according to a report by Jamestown Foundation, um, you know they uh, control the uh, Chinese newspaper in America through either buying you know um, the share or threaten them, say if you have families back in China. You better watch what you do. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the intimidation factor. And, Absolutely. And yeah. No, it's a, it's a very interesting topic and uh, uh, most people are not aware of it. And good luck. I hope this helps in making uh, corporations and, uh, and others aware that uh, they got to be on the lookout. Thank you so all, much. Because all is not as it seems. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you it. so much for having us. My pleasure. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Give Me Five is next and we're going to concentrate on yet another uh, Hillary Clinton segment that you're not going to want to miss, I promise you. Uh, and of course, every day, right after the Steve Malsberg Show at 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on Newsmax Television, you know what comes your way. It's uh, the Daily Wrap. And uh, usually, uh, at this point in the show, we throw it to one of uh, two Daily Wrap co-hosts, and uh, we throw it to Rick Unger to tell you what's coming up on the Wrap. Uh, today, though, uh, we're going to do what we also do from time to time, but throw it to Joe Concha. And he'll tell us what's ahead on the Daily Wrap. Again, kicks off right after this show at 7 p.m. Eastern. Joe? Thanks, Steve. 
Coming up tonight on The Daily Wrap, Donald Trump now being told to tone it down by the head of the Republican National Committee. We'll tell you why that demand is falling on deaf ears. George W. Bush in some hot water today overtaking $100,000 for a speech to wounded veterans. The Obama administration revises a plan once criticized as death panels. And summer camp begins in Sun Valley, Idaho. But you need at least $1 billion just to attend. We'll have all that, plus potluck, yay and nay, and your comments with my co-host, Rick Unger, comedian Pete Dominic, and stand-up rabbi Brad Hirschfield. That's tonight on The Daily Wrap, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Hawaii, only on Newsmax TV.